calculate the Brunner Fisher Brunner Fisher rule for the dying system. Now we will calculate the Brunner Fisher rule for alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl groups. That is, this rule implies to calculate the lambda max value for those alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl groups. First, we understand what is the basic value of the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl groups. First point is the alpha beta unsaturation contain for five member rings. For five member ring, the basic value is two more two nanometer, and for six member anon, simply anon or any carbonyl group, that is the value is six fifty nanometer, and for a cyclic dynamon. A cyclic dynamon means which are aliphatic, which are the dyne with carbonyl group. That is called as a cyclic dynamon. The basic value is two forty five nanometer. Okay. First, see why five member ring rather two not two nanometer, which is less than the Six member ring which have two fifteen nanometer. Why six member ring anon? Yeah, six member ring ketone or any aldehyde will have higher lambda max than the five member ring. Reason behind it is is these two structures. Six member rings are six member rings as is cyclohexene. These are in the ground state. When it goes into the excited state, it convert this structure. Always, you know very well, cyclohexane are present in the various conformations. You know very well, chair conformation, half chair conformation, board conformation. So these six member ring, when it goes to the excited state. It convert into this form. That is half chair. Half chair conformation. And this six member ring goes into a excited state. It convert into a half chair conformation, and which is stable. That's why. The it is energetically favorable means an energetically favorable means the gap between excited and the ground state will decrease because of this half chair conformation. As energy gap between excited and ground state decrease, lambda max increases. As we also rule. The energy decreases, lambda max increases. That's why six member ring have two fifty nanometer. In case of the uh, five member ring, there is the presence of this conformation. This is the eclipse conformation. In this conformation, two hydrogen have very close to each other. When five member ring, that is uh, this ring. That is why it is called alpha beta because uh, the front carbon of this is alpha and this is beta. This is alpha and this is beta. That's why it is alpha beta unsaturated ketone. And when it goes into the excited state, it convert into this eclipse eclipse conformation, which now two hydrogen very close to each other. Two Get into the excited state. It requires more energy, and this is energetically unfavorable. This is favorable energetically. Six member ring. This is unfavorable. It takes too much energy to go into the excited state. That's why the gap between excited state and the ground state increases. That is, delta I increases and lambda max increases. That's why it is called two not two. Simple explanation. <coughs> the 
Remember this value. This is the basic value per five member ketone or aldehyde. The value is the two mol two nanometer. And for the six member, this is for two fifty nanometer. And for acyl ketone, it is about two forty nanometer. Take example now. Structure but very simple structure. We calculate the group of future group. Was <coughs> this is our structure. First thing, what are the increments for this? These are the increments for the alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde. This is very complex to memorize all these things, but remember. For ring residue, first always remember the ring residue increment. The ring residue increment for alpha it is 10, for beta it is 12, and for gamma it is 18, and for delta epsilon all these are the 18, 18 nanometer. And for alkyl group also same. For alkyl group also it is same. Same increments and for exocyclic double bond, write down. For exocyclic double bond also same. That is five nanometer. And for double bond extending conjugation also same. That is thirty nanometer. But new additional increment in case of the this alpha beta unsaturated it is presence of. Homo amylar type. If these alpha beta unsaturated structure contain homo amylar type, then increment should be 39 nanometer. Why 39 nanometer? Because their difference of we see in the time the difference of homo is homo parent value is 253 and hetero value 250 or 240. If you minus this value, we get 39 nanometer difference. That's why we take in the alpha beta unsaturated the homo annular time increment is the 59 nanometer. Then calculate for this value. Same rule as we applied for the time. First, identify acidic loads carbon which are in the conjugation. These are these. And these are conjugated with the carbonyl group. Second, identify is it six member or five member? This is six member. That's why value should be two fifty nanometer. Then identify second our rule is the what are the exocyclic double bond? Yes, there is the exocyclic double bond present for this ring. That's why one exocyclic double bond means five nanometer. What are the ring residue? Always remember, there in case of we dying, we do the ring residue for this al this carbon also. But in case of alpha beta unsaturated, don't do the ring residue for this because this is functional group. Don't do ring residue for next carbon to the functional group. Do the ring residue for this and this. That should be. The ring residue is present on C. This is alpha carbon. This is beta carbon. Ring residue is present on beta carbon. That's why for beta carbon we know 12 nanometer ring residue. 12 into 12 that is 24. Yeah. 
Apply double bond extending conjugation. Is there any double bond extending conjugation present? No, because only one double bond and this double bond. There is a conjugation in between two double bond. There is absence of double bond extending conjugation. There is absence of any alkyl increment. That's why the final has to be 15, 10, 20, and 20. Two, forty, four. Uh, yes, answer is correct. That is the for this, we have already discussed for a value a cyclic diode. In some book it is given as 245, but in some book it is given as 250 nanometer. So don't get confused between these two values. Because we always take this value, 250 um, for our cycling This is, take another example. Take aliquotic example. Because we think more number of aromatic examples, now we calculate for the aliquotic. It's simple example. CS3, 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 the basic value for a cyclic diamond is 250 nanometer. And second one is that is there any exocyclic double bond present? No, that's why it's zero. Is there any increment present? Yes, there is increment on this carbon. There are two alkyl groups on this carbon. That's why these are present on beta carbon. See this. One alkyl group add beta, have the 12 nanometer value. Two alkyl group have the 24 nanometer. Simple this calculation. This is our final answer. Write the final answer 239. This is the, our all the problems we have to the board visual. Solve many problems from the books. If you are Get conceptually clear, there is a no problems to solving all good meter over future rules. Solve many examples in books because solving one or two examples, we are not clear at all these things. That's why you solve many examples from the book to understand or to practice more and more for over future rule to get the correct answer how to calculate the over future rule. These are other all implements. If any structure contains these increments, add this increment for respect to structure. Thank you. This is all about the Woodward feature.